Hello, Fair Maidens, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, it's going to be an interesting day. Now, I'll tell you, the morning may start off kind of crappy. The moon will be in Aries, and for almost a third day in a row, you'll have emotional conscious of your border. So emotionally, your border issues are all highlighted. By borders, I mean your boundaries. So the boundary between you and someone sexual, the boundary between you and death, the boundary between you and taxes. This is the house of surrender. This is the boundary issue. So if you have boundary issues, you'll be sensitive in the morning. But in the afternoon, the moon moves into Taurus, which is an earth sign just like you. So you're going to feel grounded and kind of replenished by the earth. It also throws your emotions up into the speculative when the moon is in Taurus and you're a Virgo. It's that period of the month where you kind of replay conversations that you've had with people and you kind of learn from just processing your emotions and being philosophical about them. But the third interesting thing is we have a one day soul pyramid in Earth. Now, we haven't had a soul pyramid in Earth since I've been reporting at Soul Garden. That's how rare it has been. But because of Saturn in your own sign and the recent addition of Jupiter now in Capricorn, it means we're going to have a lot of soul pyramids in Earth in the next two years, especially whenever the sun is in Taurus, May time. Now, what that means for you is rapid accelerated growth along the Earth sign consciousness, which usually means on Earth that we start to build things, we get productive, things really start to happen on the planet. And for Virgos, what it means is there'll be a coordination during those times between your beliefs, your ego and your ego's needs, and your inner child's greatest dreams. In fact, Jupiter moving into Capricorn today indicates one year of good luck and fortune when it comes to you pursuing your personal dreams. The universe wants Virgos in the next year to A, identify what their inner child wants, and B, go after it. So this soul pyramid today and this afternoon is kind of a glimpse of the future. I'm wondering how you'll be feeling on the inside because in some ways it represents where the next year in 2008 will really be about for you. Your growth of your ego and expanding what you want, you moving into your inner child, and your philosophy is changing a lot about the world. All right, that's all we have for the day, Virgo. See you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So